one word, affection. I can't tell you how many drivers and, and others, PR people, people from the Speedway have all come up and said, congratulations, we're glad you're back. And I, I don't think they realize how much I'm bubbling inside with the whole idea. This is it's very special. I'm, I'm about to work with what I think is the best team I've ever seen doing radio. It's certainly grown a great deal from the last time I did it, which would have been, you know, back in the uh, mid 80s. And I just, I'm tingling. I can't wait for the season to get going. Uh, well, I mean, that's a list. I'm looking forward to seeing what the road course is going to bring us. I'm obviously looking forward to the Indy 500 as, as a play-by-play. -play. I've been in the booth, you know, as kind of the voice of the 500 emeritus for the past several years. Um, I, I look forward to getting back to some tracks I haven't been to for a long time, uh, like Long Beach, stuff like that. I mean, there's everywhere along the way, there's a, another little, little item that I just want to see and can't wait to be part of. Well, I, I don't know them and to say we've been out drinking constantly or stuff like that. I know them certainly by reputation, and I know them personally on a, a number of different levels. But as teammates, of course not. But I've spent the last three months doing nothing but listening to them at work over the last year. And the more I listen, the more impressed I become with how really good they are. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing to listen to a show and say, geez, that was a good show. It's another thing to listen to it as a professional who knows what goes on. And, you know, you know, that guy just saved something. Something was happening and that announcer picked it up and, you know, maybe a microphone went out somewhere else just, and it made it so smooth. And that they can do that, that they do everything off of uh, just a nod and a wink and do it on instinct is what really makes a team like that work. I fell in love with the Indianapolis 500 mile race when I was 13 in 1960. Um, I came to the race and, and I would, over my protest, protestations, I, I didn't want to really come to it. I, uh, but my family made me and we lived in Chicago with my mill brat and I, uh, my, my dad was stationed at Fort Sheridan, Illinois, made me come down and by lap three, I was just, I, I want to be involved in this. I don't care how it is. Um, my, my school had a little prophecy of what would happen in 10 years. The prophecy that my school wrote for me was that in 10 years I would be on the radio at the Indy 500. And 11 years later, later it was actually true. So I just, I always wanted to be close to it. I love the Speedway. I still love it. I, just to be a part of it is, it's very special. No, never. I, I, thought, I thought in 2004 that I probably had my last chance to, to do an Indy 500 mile race as a play-by-play. -play. And then the radio network was kind enough to bring me in to, again, be the kind of the analyst for the analyst. And, um, th and I thought that was great. That, what, a, what a great little assignment. But then to say, would you like to do it again? Um, I never would have guessed that would have happened. And it was so out of the blue, it had it, it, even more pleasurable because it was, you know, that somebody remembered and thought that I might be able to do it well, and I'm, I'm going to do it real well.